find a comfortable spot. You can sit and listen to this meditation, or you can also lie down, whatever makes you more comfortable. Now close your eyes and start to breathe and start to pay attention to your breath. Take a deep breath in and release, letting go all your fears and doubts. Now take another breath in and release, releasing all your anxieties, stresses, and take one more breath in and release. Continue to pay attention to your breath. Now I want you to see that you are walking in a forest. It's a familiar forest and you know you've been here before. And as you walk down a dirt path, you can see that the heaviness is being left behind you, that the darkness that you've been carrying throughout your day is dropping behind you, like breadcrumbs. As you venture deeper into the woods, you become lighter and lighter. Take a deep breath in and release. You continue to follow this path into the woods. And the deeper you go, you start to hear the sound of water flowing. You follow this sound and you find a river. and the river beckons for you to come forward. So you take a few steps towards the river and you may hesitate, but the river says, trust me, I'm here to help you. And with this promise, you place both feet into the river. And then you get slowly into the water until you are submerged with the river and the river flows over you as if you are one with the river. And now, with the safety of the river, I want you to ask your wounded self whatever age you were when you were raped or sexually assaulted to come forward. You may see a child step forward, a young adult, a teenager. And this wounded self wants to join you in the river and I want you to invite this wounded self in the river with you. And as this self steps in with you, and this wounded self, this inner child, inner teenager, inner adult, however old they may be, wants to give you something they want to give you something that they have been carrying around for a very long time and they're ready to let go of. What they give you may appear to you as an object, may appear to you as a limiting belief or an emotion. Whatever they give you do not judge it.
I want you to take this from them and place it in between you and the water. I want you to ask the water to take this from both of you. I want you to tell the water that you are ready to release this emotion, this object, this memory from your body, from your DNA. And now the river picks up again and it flows and it flows and it takes what you have been carrying for far too long and it carries it downstream it carries it away from you and as it moves away from you it dissolves and this darkness you've been carrying dissolves into stardust and the river takes it away. And I want you to take the hand of your wounded self and I want you to lay back in the river and though the river flows, you both stay still as the river passes over you, as it cleanses you as it cleanses your body, heart, and mind. As it cleanses out what your wounded self gave to you, as well as any other beliefs you are ready to let go of. And as this happens, you look over at your wounded self, and you see that they are no longer so wounded. That with each breath, this self becomes lighter and more whole. And they smile at you and they say, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to see me. Thank you for taking the time to heal me. And now this self takes your hand. And they lead you out of the river and into a clearing in the forest. And as you get to the center of this clearing, rose petals begin to fall. And your wounded self who is no longer wounded and actually glows with light blesses you over and over again for taking the time to see them and with the touch of each rose petal upon your skin you become lighter and lighter as well and you smile and this other part of you this version of yourself who you have taken this burden from gives you a great big hug. And as you hug, they dissolve into you, into your heart, to always be with you. And now you stand in the clearing, and you look around and you see two paths. There's the path you came from with the darkness of breadcrumbs. And you look the other way, and you see that there is now a path lit up with light, love, stars. And you take a moment and you thank the path with the dark breadcrumbs for all it has taught you about who you really are. And then you look at the path with light and you walk towards it. And as you step upon this lighter path, you breathe in and you breathe out breathe in breathe out 
Breathe in, breathe out, and now open your eyes, sending you all my love.